And after the death of George Floyd, local activists are now calling for an end to the use of any sort of chokehold restraint here in San Diego County, citing several incidents that have taken place over the last few years. Marilee Moore is live in downtown with that part of our story. Marilee. That's right. Uh, those activists really calling for a complete end to that whatsoever. No form of chokehold uh, by any officers here at the San Diego Police Department for one thing, but they don't want it to end here. They want it to end across the state and across the country. We're saying to ban all of those restraints. They are inhumane, they're improper, and it is used mostly on people of color. Widespread outrage following the death of 46-year-old George Floyd in Minneapolis after a police officer held him down with a knee to his neck as Floyd cried out saying he couldn't breathe. The backlash growing over the treatment of Floyd and similar treatment other people say their loved ones have faced at the hands of law enforcement officers. It's just time. We have to change this. It's a brutal, brutal way of dying. And for me, it's a it's a trigger. I it's going to take years for me to move on. This woman says her nephew died after an Anaheim police officer used the carotid restraint on him in 2016. A lawsuit awarded the family over 13 million dollars in damages, but the city has appealed the case. I'm the only one in my family that continues to fight and to, to continue to go out there and tell my nephew's story. She's not alone. Desiree Smith says her son was only 15 years old attending Lincoln High School when an officer used a neck restraint on him during an incident out after a homecoming event. In this case, he survived, but his mother says the experience wounded him physically and mentally. He could not sleep at night. He would pace the floor um, all night. He couldn't concentrate. When he did go to sleep, he would jump out of his sleep. A public records request showed the San Diego Police Department used the carotid restraint 570 times over a span of five years. In almost a quarter of those cases, the person being restrained was black. Local activists are calling for the San Diego Police Department and all local law enforcement to completely ban the use of neck restraints. Every knee kneeling on someone's neck is a chokehold. So we want all neck restraints banned, not only in San Diego, not only statewide, but throughout the nation. We've reached out to the San Diego Police Department today. We've also reached out to the San Diego Sheriff's Department, and we will continue to keep you updated as we hear back from them on their responses to all of this. We're live in downtown. Marilee Moore, Fox 5 News. All right.